What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Neg Entropy Chronicles. Do your boy a favor, like, share, and subscribe. And click that notification bell to be alerted anytime I drop a new video. So, what we're talking about today is what everybody's been talking about, and it's about Cam Newton. But I'm looking at it more from the aspect of exposing the inherent nature to always bash men when they speak about relationships from their perspective versus how women do it on their end. So I'm going to show you when he speaks about the women that got everybody up in an uproar, and I'm going to show you what he talked about for the men. So let's get into it, all right? You growing up, what was that like? Mm. How was that? So I'm not one of these dudes to be like, bro, I'm gutter, I'm this, I'm that. Man, I had a, a perfect a perfect example of what a man was in my life by my father. Mm -hmm. My parents have been together for 36, 37 years now, and it's, and it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in a three-parent household, my mom, my father, and my grandmother. And uh, I knew what a woman was, not a bad bitch. Okay, what's the difference? A woman. Okay. A bad bitch is a person who's just, you know, Girl, I'm a bad bitch. You know, I'm doing yeah. this. I'm doing that. I, 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 I looked apart, but I don't act apart. Okay. You know, and it's a lot of women who are bad bitches. And I say bitches in, in, in a way not to degrade a woman, but just to, to, to go off the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. Mm -hmm. Now, a woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs, mm -hmm. right? And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of like, I'm a boss bitch, like I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, baby, like, but you can't cook. Okay. You, yeah. don't, know, you don't know when to be quiet. You mm -hmm. don't know how to allow a man to lead. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of women, now the kickback of that is be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet for the man and handle his business. You know, that's what they say. Mm -hmm. oh, or I'm gonna be, I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm going to be submissive to a man to handle his business. Mm -hmm. That's what they're going to say. So what, what is your... But it's ways to do it. And I'm not just about to sit up there and beat up my, my, my queen. No, I ain't saying like that. Yet. But I'm also going to also tell the men to start being men, bro. Absolutely. Like, that, that sucker shit should not be rewarded. And what sucker shit? So, you know, when, 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 a, person, when a person carries himself social media wise and it's a fraud in real life okay mm -hmm. you know it's more to every person that got money or every person who's rich isn't a real one okay you know what I'm saying? right and i think that gets kind of misconstrued in this society now because a lot of people have money but they're not genuine people you know, mm -hmm. and I pride myself. Everybody who knows me knows, like, bro, Cam's a solid dude. He keeps his circle extremely small. I'm not afraid to be by myself. Uh, quick example. Uh, I had two of my oldest children uh, birthday last week. And I'm in the mall by myself. I found solitude in being by myself. Yeah. And a, a young man approached me and was like, hey, bro, I know your cousin. And I'm like, okay, what's that? like who? You know, he he spoke his name, and uh, you know, I proceeded to keep walking, getting my children their birthday gifts. Then you know, he, the same dude kind of followed me into the to the store and was like, hey, bro, he said X Y Z. Da 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 da. I said, man, you know, I ain't got time. It's my daughter's birthday today, or whatever. So as he left, you know, my cousin then hit me back, and when I say cousin, first cousin, my my dad's sister's son. Mm -hmm. Um, he then hit back and said, bro, you got to stop being by yourself. And I simply text back, no weapon formed, dot, 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 dot. Yeah, he get the rest. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, yes. you know what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think a lot of dudes, they, they walk around in the army, and it, it, it is true, you know, there's strength in numbers, but at the same time, there's also dysfunction in numbers too. Absolutely. Okay. So, so, so can you honestly tell me what was so outlandish about what he said that it ended up on news channels. Honestly, what did he really say? He said, there is a type of woman 
that behaves this way and there's a type of woman that behaves this way. I listen to women say, oh, he's saying that we have to be quiet at all times and catering to his needs. What is he a baby and all of this? He said, know how to cater to a man's needs. That does not mean that you have to do it 24 seven. You just should know how to. You should know how to cook. Not just for the sake of for the man that you're gonna be with, but for yourself. As an adult, you should know how to cook. I'm sorry, that's, that's just it. You gotta be able to cook yourself meals just through the day, like planned meals, whatever. You should know how to cook just for your own safety and your own well-being in life. Being quiet. Let's let's really talk about this. There are people on this planet who don't know when to be quiet. Even at the danger or the potential threat of danger to themselves, they will keep speaking and egging, egging it on. And then they get hurt and be like, well, I can't believe they did this. But you wouldn't be quiet if you'd have just kept your mouth shut. You'd have probably avoided that. You see what I mean? Know when to be quiet. Or just know when to be quiet to avoid something exploding out of control that doesn't need to even be going there. What do they always say? Sometimes you got to take the high road or something like that. Because I've seen conversations with men talking to their women. They're like, all right, cool, you got it. Let's try to come back to this when everybody didn't calm down. No, nah, we're going to talk about it right now. And then y'all don't communicate well after that anymore. Just in that conversation or this person doesn't want to speak to you anymore because you have no control over your emotions. But to say that somebody wants to, that you're a grown man, you're not a baby because you want someone to know how to cater to your needs, that then in conflict contradicts what a woman's asking for. I want a man to pay my bills, all of this stuff. But you're a grown up. You should know how to pay your bills. You're not a child. I shouldn't have to pay bills for you in that manner. You see what I'm saying? So he exposed a lot with how women are able to talk about their preferences, but men can't. And he was even polite about how he did it. Where you got Corinne Steffens, a.k.a. Superhead, coming back from the depths of I don't even know where. Coming back, dogging men, talking about all of them got small members and they ain't ish and they suck and they rats and they eat pizza off the train because they for the streets or they are the streets all of this but no one says anything no one says anything when women are going talking down on men 24 7 on these television shows on these tv shows on, that are being hosted by women to talk or whatever but a man says it and he says, I'm not even trying to be disrespectful, but this is what they call themselves. This is this, this is and this. And people still tried to find a way to insult him because they didn't listen to what he actually said. They took what they wanted and spun it and flipped it and made it sound like he was talking about baby me 24 seven. When the man is a multimillionaire football player who has been a captain of a team, a quarterback of a team and has busted his butt his entire life. But now, he's a baby. Mm -mm -mm. But let me know what y'all think down in the comments section. And be on the lookout for more videos. All right, everybody? Peace.